Hey what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and as I promised earlier, I said I'd make a video on the in-game LTM because there was just too much to talk about, so I figured I'd split it up into two videos just to make it easier. Now the in-game LTM is set up like your regular Team Rumble game mode. It's 20v20, uh, 20 on the Avenger side, and 20 on the Thanos side. You get 300 health, 300 shield, that doesn't replenish. I'm pretty sure... I don't think any of the other weapons give you the ability to replenish health. When you spawn in, you get a blue tack shotgun and a blue AR, and a treasure map which you can find one of four Avengers items, such as Thor's axe, Hawkeye's bow, Iron Man's gauntlets, and Captain America's shield, and I'm going to be explaining all of those. Your goal is basically to stop Thanos from getting all the infinity stones. Thor's axe gets a ton of materials, if you hit something with it, you hit a tree, it breaks instantly, you get like 150 materials. And it's like the sword where you can throw it and then it'll come back to you. It's just like the movie where you can throw his axe and it'll come right back to you. Hawkeye's bow is my favorite of these four because it has a grapple and the explosion radius and damage that it does is much bigger than the regular boom bow. It does, I believe, 200 damage uh, if it's around with splash radius and three. I don't completely remember, but yeah, it does a lot of damage. Definitely probably the most out of all of these, but it's definitely not the most overpowered. Iron Man's is definitely by far the most overpowered. It literally has aimbot. I'll put some footage up on screen. It's literally just locking onto people and then aimbotting uh, the other team and it is ridiculous. A lot of people are complaining, uh, but it only does 45 damage, but it's so rapid fire that you can kill someone on the other team within like three seconds uh, if you have the Iron Man gauntlets and they can barely hit you because you're flying around and oh, the jetpacks are infinite uh, with Iron Man and it's really, really cool. It actually makes you feel like Iron Man and I just, I can imagine putting on the Omega skin fully maxed out and then just flying around shooting people and it just looks really, really cool. Captain America's shield is special too. You throw it, it comes back to you. It looks really cool. It has all these all these sound effects from the movie, which sounds really, really cool when you get into it. There are moments in the game where you can barely hear anything because everyone's pew, 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 pew. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Oh, I'm fighting Thanos. Give me a second. Oh, killed him. Now let's talk about Thanos' side. You spawn in with 125 health and 125 shield. Your goal is to collect the different infinity stones. Thanos is chosen at random. If he gets defeated, he'll come back and then another random player will take his mantle. You get a rapid fire gun and a big blast gun, a jetpack that's pretty limited. Uh, you can only fly for like three or four seconds. Nothing like Iron Man's jetpack, nothing like the jetpacks that were in the game before. They're really weak, so I barely even use them. And there's no reloads on any guns on this entire LTM, except for if you use your default blue AR and blue tack. But why would you want to use that if you have Captain America's shield? Just throw those away. Just th throw those away. You don't need it. Honestly, you don't need it. And I'll put some footage up on screen of Thanos. He does 300 damage per second. Uh, so yeah, you can just kind of tell how that how that goes off. Uh, yeah, Thanos is really overpowered. Uh, 2,000 health, but that's how he should be. I mean, it's Thanos. He, should he not be powerful? That's what that's one of the big problems I had with the Thanos LTM last year. But they definitely did a good job with this LTM, and this is probably my second favorite LTM ever. It, it, it's really close. It's really close between this and Sniper Shootout, but this is definitely a really good LTM and I do recommend, definitely recommend that you play until you get the Avenger side because the Avenger side, definitely more fun compared to the Thanos side, but the LTM in general is just really fun and it's really refreshing because we haven't really seen anything like this before. Uh, that's all I pretty much wanted to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this and I'll see you guys later. Peace.